Hello my dear students. Let's begin classification of plants part 2. In classification of plant part 1, we have seen the two sub kingdoms of plant. It was classified into cryptogams and phenerogams. Cryptogams where the reproductive organs are hidden. Crypto meaning hidden and gams meaning reproductive organs. So cryptogams have re hidden reproductive organs. Now phenerogams. Phenerogams are flowering plants and they have special structures for reproduction and producing seed. Now you can uh, understand cryptogams where the plants were not that complex. That means they were not so heighted plants. The leaves were not big. They were not several branches. So here you can understand the complexity of the plants will increase. The trees can be longer, taller, stronger. Okay, there will be um, some more complexity in their cell conductive tissues like xylem and phloem and vascular tissue that all will come here. Now, when these kinds of plants reproduce, seeds are formed. Okay, every plant when reproduce, the seeds are formed, the seeds germinate and then the new plant come comes into the existence so similarly here also the seeds which are formed it will contain a embryo and stored food now this embryo is a future plant so for growing up the embryo and dividing itself that means when something is growing what is increasing the number of cells are increasing the energy consumption increases for that they have stored food in them okay so these stored food supply them energy that means during the germination of seed the stored food is used for the initial growth of the embryo now now whether the seeds are enclosed in a fruit or not phenerogams are classified into gymnosperms and angiosperm gymno meaning is naked sperm meaning is seed gymno that means naked sperm meaning seed that means those seeds are not present inside the fruit like how you have a mango or lychee or any fruit that you see you find a seed inside right but what if these seeds are not enclosed in fruit hmm? so such plants are called as gymnosperm okay whereas angiosperm in the plants in which the seeds are enclosed inside the fruit those are called as angiosperm angio meaning covering and sperm meaning seed gymno naked angio covered there naked seed and here covered seed so gymno is not having fruit but seeds are present in angiosperms seeds are present and they are present inside the fruit now let's talk about more first for gymnosperm that is phenerogams is divided into two division division one is gymnosperm and division two that is angiosperm so one by one we will see first is gymnosperm as i told you that it is plants with the naked seed now these plants mostly are evergreen perennial and woody you must have seen christmas tree and uh, deodar cycas so these all plants if you see it will be all the year it will be green in it hmm? and uh, these leaves form a crown like structure and the plants for reproduction they have 
different uh, sporophylls sporophylls that produces the spore so male sporophyll and female sporophylls both are present on the same plant okay if a plant is there so the male reproductive organs or uh, the cells and the female re reproductive cells are present on the separate sporophyll of the same plant seeds of these plants do not have the natural covering that is they don't the seeds are not present inside the fruits and in all the plants if you see there is a crown like structure woody crown like structure here now examples of gymnosperms are cycas christmas tree thuja or more punky in uh, general term it is called pinus or deodar are the good examples of gymnosperm so gymnosperm are the first division under the phanerogams where the seeds which are formed by these plants are not enclosed inside the fruit they are mostly evergreen perennial and woody perennial meaning ever evergreen high plant the leaves form the crown and they bear male and female sporophyll on the same plant seeds does not have the natural covering and they do not form fruits they are called gymnosperm example cycas christmas tree morpunky deodar etc now the second division is angiosperm where angio meaning cover and sperm meaning seed now these are the flowering plant that bear reproductive organs now flower in these plants develop into fruits and the seeds are formed within the fruits for example mango or tamarind so the seeds which are present they will be present inside the fruit watermelon um, oranges so lemon these all are having seeds but the outside it is fruit which is surrounding them now these plants whose seeds can be divided into two equal halves whenever your mother is cooking or whoever is cooking in your uh, home uh, if you if they are cooking chickpea that is kabuli chana or matar or uh, beans or like these kinds of pulses so just try to open and divide them into two equal halves okay if they are completely divided into two equal halves they will be called as dicotyledon okay dicotyledonous plant and if they are not they are called as monocotyledon now cotyledon is very small structure present in the seed you must have seen when the uh, this tail like structure okay uh, when the seeds are soaked like um, uh, moong and uh, matki and uh, chana so you have a tail like structure coming right after after some hours of soaking you see that at night if you put it in the water and morning if your mother tie it in the uh, rumal or any uh, wet cloth so you see some sproutings are coming okay and if you open so there will be a uh, cotyledons a small cotyledons at the tail so if cotyledons are present on both the half then such plant will be dicotyledonous plant and if there is just one cotyledon if you open it and just one cotyledon if you find then they are monocotyledonous plant okay the seeds which have two cotyledons are known as di di meaning two dicotyledonous plant and seeds with just one cotyledon are monocotyledonous plant mono meaning one let's see what are the other differences between the monocotyledon and dicotyledon plant now if you see the roots seeds already i have talked about now come to the roots you will see a tapering root 
tapering route that means there will be one main route and through that main route various branches of roots are forming okay and fibrous roots in monocotyledon meaning the starting of the roots is only ha is having lots of branches and sub branches so you can see the uh, picture and you can understand what i am talking about uh, tapering root or tap root and fibrous root right student now in stem if you consider the stem of these two plant so stem of the dicotyledonous plant will be strong and hard like banyan tree hmm? and in monocotyledonous like banana okay the hollow stem it is not woody hollow or false or disc like we call them as so these stems are hollow false or disc like okay examples are bamboo banana onion bamboo you all have seen in cartoon where the panda bear used to just hang around and eat that right banana also you must have seen onion also now the leaves leaves in dicotyledon plant are reticulate venation that means if you see the veins in the leaf they are all scattered in a very fine definition in a very fine line whereas parallel venation in monocotyledon the leaves will will be very narrow and just one or just few you can see the lines or the margin will be present so just see reticulate venation and parallel venation the diagrams are here you can understand nicely coming to the flower flower of dicotyledonous plant uh, the petals okay like rose petals and all that is there so that petals will be four or five or in their multiples that means four or eight or 16 or 20 or maybe it will be 5 10 15 20 so petals count will be 4 or 5 or in multiples of 4 and 5 so for 4 the it is called tetramerous and for 5 it is called pentamerous you can observe in the diagram students in monocotyledons the the petals will be present in three or multiples of three that means three six nine twelve and so on so that is why they are called as trimeres so again i will say for flower for dicotyledon four or five or in multiples of four and five so for four it is tetramerous and for five it will be pentamerous similarly in monocotyledonous they will be in multiple of three that is why they are trimerous now what are the examples of dicotyledon and monocotyledon in your book the diagrams are very confusing and all given without the name so here i have posted this so you can understand and write down the examples for monocotyledon and dicotyledon plants so these are the examples of dicot and monocot plants you can remember three four examples now let's conclude this chapter we have started with plant five kingdom classification under that fourth category was plant we started with plants uh, the how the plants are classified then we saw there were two sub kingdoms under plant cryptogams and phenarogams cryptogams are non-flowering plants and phenarogams are flowering plants in cryptogams we saw three division first thallophyta second bryophyta and third pteridophyta okay as per the complexity the simplest one was thallophyta without any root stem leaves like algae then there was root like structure forming and that group was that division was bryophyta okay which is also known as amphibian of the plant and third it was pteridophyta where the roots has started to come the leaves the um, conducting tissues and all and next sub kingdom was phenarogams where phenarogams are flowering plants it is also divided into two division division one was gymnosperm the seeds which are formed from such plants will be not enclosed in the fruit 
that is why naked seeds uh, they are called as so gymnosperm and second division was angiosperm where seeds are enclosed inside the fruit now dividing the seeds into half if the cotyledons two cotyledons are present they are called as dicotyledonous plant or dicot and if the cotyledon is just one present or it, it is not divided into two equal half exact equal half then such plants will be called as monocotyledonous plant or monocot differences already three four points we have told with this your classification of plants is over any confusion any doubt you can comment down below thank you so much students